Hi Bromies, it's your boy Ricky here with Bromero Cards for Honeybee Stamps and today I will be showing you how I made a card using their latest release, Adventure Awaits. Now I do have to say this card took me almost an hour to make because I got stuck in the middle of it and I wasn't for sure how um, I was going to go any further in part of it. Um, but this is the card that I made. So it's a nice retirement card. Um, it was kind of a struggle. I didn't know really how I was going to go forward with it once I got to a certain part of this card, but we'll walk through it. And yeah, make sure you check out the links down in the description to check out all the products and let's get to making the card. Okay, so to make this card, we are going to be using the Fishing Legend stamp and matching die set. We're also going to be using the Lovely Layer stumps. We will also be using the shield layering dies. We'll also be using some white cardstock, some green cardstock, and some brown, and some craft cardstock. So to get started, we are going to take this Lovely Layers Stumps, which is going to be a die set that I never get rid of because I freaking love the way that these look when they're all put together. But we're going to put all the outlines of the trunks on the dark brown and then all the insides of the trunks um, on the craft paper. And I believe actually this is wheat by Concord and Ninth and then the dark brown is nutmeg from Concord and Ninth, I believe. So we are going to arrange these onto the paper. I did cut them down so I could put them through the same time on the die cutting machine and we're just going to use a long piece of uh, sticky tape here and get that put down and then we will run this through the die cutting machine as we do. Um, everybody knows how to do this. Most people do, I believe. that probably watching this video <laughs> so I won't show you how to do it. So now we're going to get the stamp wheel out and we are going to be uh, doing some ink blending on the slices of the inside of the stumps here. And I'm just placing these down all on the actual uh, stamp here. Actually, it's a big stamp that's on the stamp wheel and it holds everything down really good. Now I'm going to use gathered twigs here on the first one and then I'm like, eh, I don't know about this. This is where the card starts to go downhill, <laughs> the very beginning. <laughs> So then I pull out Vintage Photo and I go to do this one and like it's okay, but I'm not for sure I'm digging it. So I'm going to put it on another one just to see if I like the shading of it. And as I'm looking at it, I'm like, eh, no, let's bring out tea dye. So I try tea dye. That was definitely, definitely a no ma'am. I did not like this one at all. <laughs> It was not the best. So then I bring out brush corduroy. I tried this one. Still the same. Eh, not the best. <laughs> so I'm trying it again. I'm like, oh God, I don't know. So then I come out. I think I have ground espresso. Yeah. And I think this is the one that I finally just go with. It To me, it looked better. It was a natural. Um, it just brought out the... Um, you know, like the embossing of the of the paper, and I just thought it looked better. So that's the one we went with with the last two or three here. Okay, now that we have all these done, we're gonna put these together. I'm gonna to show you how to put each size together. There are three sizes of the slices here, and they're super easy. The outlines just match up super, like you don't even have to guess on this. Like it literally is like a puzzle piece that just is like the easiest piece of puzzle in the world. That was the medium size. This is the larger one. And then we will move down to the smaller one and show you how to do that one. Literally the easiest thing in the whole world. Um, the easiest thing in this card actually, probably. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the slices done, we are going to place these down onto the green cardstock and uh, glue these down. Now, I did see this video from Kelly who was on our team and I really liked how she did this. So thank you, Kelly, for showing us how to do this because I really like this idea. So um, 
I am just trying to arrange these the way that I want them to be. I'm trying, I'm going to put this diamond shaped die on here. Um, just trying to see exactly how everything's covered. And then what I'm going to do is just take my honeybee stamps glue and get all of these glued down to uh, the green piece of paper here. Nothing too hard, just going one by one and placing them down. Okay, I'm going to put this last one down here. I'm only going to do half of it glued because most of it's hanging off the side of the card. And then I'm going to take my Simon Says Stamp scissors and I'm just going to cut the edges off here. I know it's like I did all that work and I'm cutting off most of the edges. The good thing is, is if I wanted to, I could save these edges and place it actually on this card on another spot that might be missing too much or too much space. But um, as I looked back at it after I took off the pieces, I don't think it needed any more um, pieces on it. And plus, um, after kind of like in the middle of this card making process, I decided to actually cut this panel down a little bit. So it even cuts even more of the slices off, which kind of hurts my heart. But, you know, you know, we do what we got to do. So now I am going to take this pattern paper from Adventure Awaits. I love this uh, pattern paper with all the different plants on it. And I'm going to play around here. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want this diamond. Um, I think it's a good spot there. We will run that through the die cutting machine and get that cut out. Um, there is some embossing on this diamond. You just won't be able to see it because it's on printed paper, basically. So now I was like, well, that's a little too plain. I need something that's going to go, go good with this. So I decided to take the inner part of this diamond and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut it out um, three times. But what I'm going to do is take this first layer, get that cut out. And then what I do is I put that smallest area in there and place that in the middle and then die cut that, which makes these frames. And I thought the frame might add a little bit more dimension and kind of break it up a little bit. I thought it was, it just didn't look right to me. I don't know about you guys. Please give me your opinion down in the comments. But uh, I glued all three of those together. And now I'm going to glue this uh, piece that are that's three layers down onto this diamond to kind of make a frame within the diamond here. So that's okay. I finally got over that hurdle. I, I see what I'm doing. And then I'm like, uh, I need to cut this down a little bit. It's, you know, I need to have a border around that. I'm a border, like, I have to have a mat, some kind of mat. I can't have like a full on fledged, like full face card for some reason. But uh, anyway, I go ahead and cut off each side of this to be four. It eventually becomes four by five and a quarter. And I'm crazy and I just need to cut it off on each side. I know I could probably just do one side and another side and fine. No, I need to do all four corners. So we're going to take the glue here and then we're going to place this down onto the card base as we do. Um, will my head show up? Does it show up? No, it does not. And I got this even. So you guys, I'm getting even better at this. So now this is where it starts to go a little crazy. I don't know what to put in the middle of this. I'm like trying to put different stamps in the middle, trying to figure out, oh, is that too small? Is this too big? What sentiment am I going to use if I put two fish on here? Uh, the net wasn't, it was covering up too much. I could probably put it on vellum, but then it would have covered up. I was just starting to get really annoyed. <laughs> So here I am just trying different things, the basket, you know, just going back and forth, just like ugh, getting annoyed. And then I decide I'm going to use the hat. The hat looks okay. I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work out, we can always try something else. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stamped out onto some white cardstock here. And then we're going to do a little bit of Copic coloring. This isn't anything crazy. This is R39 that I'm coloring uh, just a stripe of the hat with. It's a red, reddish color. And then what I'm going to do is take three browns. I have E39. And I'm just going to do some light shading here. Like this isn't hard Copic coloring. It isn't 
like detailed or anything. I'm just taking it from each side and then I'll take like this is R37 then go out a little further. It's a lighter color. And then I'll take the lightest color, which is E35, and then I'll just complete this whole hat. It's super easy, not hard at all. Now we have the hat complete, we are going to find the matching die here, and we are going to run that through the die cutting machine like everything else we do. We'll get that covered in tape. We'll run it through where then I kind of am not digging how small it is in the uh, frame. I put it on here. I'm just like, oh, God, I don't know if I could do deal with this. I should say, gosh, sorry about that, you guys. Um, so then I start pulling stuff out again. I can't handle it. I'm, I'm like, does it need something else? I can't. It, it just, The hat just seems too plain, too small. But as I keep thinking about it, I'm just like, you know what? This is going to work. I'm overthinking it. I, I don't think um, me changing what's in the middle here is going to change my outlook on this card. So I'm just trying all different things. I finally decided just to go with the hat. We're going to use the sentiment, happy retirement from Hooked on You. And that's something else I changed as soon I was like, oh, I need a sentiment for this because like, what are you going to put on a hat? I mean, <laughs> uh, so I get some embossing ink there. I go ahead and get that covered in white heat embossing powder, do the magic with the heat gun, melt it, make it look all pretty. And then as that's melted, we will get the matching dye here. You guys, I, you, I love the matching dyes of the sentiments of honeybee stamps. I like, honestly, I can't live without them now. I get like, oh, I'm like, oh no, I have to hand cut this dye, this sentiment out. We're gonna run that through the die cutting machine. And now that after it has come out, we will place some foam tape on the back of the diamond. And then we will release the paper from the back and get that placed onto the card panel. There we go. And then we'll play some foam tape on the back of the hat and get that placed on there. And we'll place this kind of, well, it's more or less in the center. Um, looks pretty good. And then we'll put some glue on the back of the sentiment and this card is complete. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you head over to Honeybee Stamps by clicking the links down in the description and check out their latest release. It's phenomenal. And also check us out on all the social medias. I hope you guys have a great week, a great weekend if you're watching this on a Sunday. And uh, yeah, oh, check us out over on Instagram, Honeybee Stamps, Bro Merrill Cards. Check out my YouTube channel at Bro Merrill Cards as well. All right, it's time to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.